And today we learned that Suzanne LaPrize is a mother of three. She volunteers at her local church and she works to help the elderly. That's not typically the kind of profile you'd see for someone who would commit such a crime. Although we did also speak to her neighbors today who told us something about her just seemed off. She is the neighbor that always like would wave but like wouldn't like say anything, but she like was kind of creepy. This is the welcome mat outside the Plainville apartment of 51 year old Suzanne LaPrize. Neighbors shocked to learn the mom next door was allegedly the one who walked into the lobby of Bristol PD Thursday night and opened fire, spraying bullets at officers from her high capacity magazine. That's honestly incredibly shocking to hear, uh, considering that we actually just recently moved to Plainville. We found this town to be a very quiet suburban neighborhood, so that is absolutely shocking to me right now. LaPrize, who was allegedly drunk and high at the time, was arraigned in New Britain Superior Court. Standing beside her public defender, we learned more about her. She's a mother of three adult children, including her 33-year-old son, who has Down syndrome. Um, she is his main care provider. She feeds him, she dresses him, she gives him his insulin that he needs every day. And she also has experience doing this because, as she indicated to me, she spent 21 years of her life working for the Connecticut Department of Developmental Services. LaPrize was most recently working part-time at an adult day center, providing support to the elderly. These charges are very alarming. So alarming that the judge required her to post 30 percent of her $1 million bond in order to get out. She's facing a slew of criminal felony charges. My understanding that it has been reported that this may have been a suicide attempt. LaPrize told her public defender she probably suffers from mental health issues. Actually makes me feel very uncomfortable. Like she could have done that to our neighborhood and I wouldn't want that. Like I wouldn't want my family hurt. No one was hurt during LaPrize's police lobby rampage. Bulletproof glass did its job. And so did police who shot back and quickly deployed a stun gun to take her down. LaPrize was placed on a suicide watch while she's behind bars. She's going to be back in court on October 17th. This investigation is now being handled by the Office of the Inspector General. And this incident comes nearly a year after two Bristol police officers were killed by a suspect while responding to a domestic disturbance. We're live outside New Britain Superior Court. Matt Caron, Fox 61, Connecticut's News Station.